Hello and welcome to the shop. I recently started listening to my record collection again. Now I have somewhere between two and three hundred vinyl records and I prefer vinyl over CD or digital because I just feel like the sound has so much more warmth to it. A while back I installed a stereo in my shop and you can see right back here I've got a turntable. I've been bringing vinyl out to the shop and it's been making my time in the shop just that much more enjoyable. What I want to do though is, this is a bad idea, it's right out in the way, I'm constantly having to be careful as I go around it so I don't bump it, cause the records to skip. I want to build a little shelf today and I want to mount it on the wall right above my scroll saw. I have a stack of some maple scraps here and as you can tell it's rough cut and what I want to go ahead and do is clean it up and make it a bit more dimensional so I can use it in the construction of my shelf. Once I dimensioned the wood, I went ahead and put it in these picture frame clamps. I just made butt joints, but I glued and screwed all four of the corners. This will be the, the top shelf that the turntable sits on. Once the glue dried, I went ahead and ran the palm sander around the entire surface of my box. I've glued a second piece onto the bottom of the shelf. We'll flip the shelf over when we mount it and we'll have our surface for the turntable to set on on the opposite side. My studs in my wall come to about here and here roughly, so I'll be able to drill a couple of holes uh, in this bottom piece and attach to the wall. I will also be drilling through here maybe three to five holes and putting some longer screws to pull these together. Um, the glue should be enough to hold it, but since there, there is no brace out here, this is the entire weight of the turntable will be held by this back piece. I wanna make sure that I, I firm it up as best as possible. With the frame built and the plexiglass cut to size, we can now turn our attention to attaching the plexiglass to the shelf. I've got some three inch screws and I'd like to countersink them so they go about a half of an inch into the bottom board. So I'm gonna to have to countersink about a half of an inch into the top board. I'm gonna put three of them and the idea is the center board here is where the screws will be into the studs of my wall. Uh, and this is gonna give it a little extra support above and beyond the glue, however I would be willing to bet that the glue is every bit as strong as, if not stronger, than these screws. So I've marked out three spots. I'm ready to drill the holes. With the initial holes drilled, I'm going to come back with this countersink bit and it has a Allen screw right here. I'm going to drill in up to that Allen screw, which should give me about a half of an inch depth, which is exactly what I want for countersinking that screw uh, through the top board. Once I drilled the hole, it just didn't look deep enough, so I went ahead and ran it all the way up to where I kissed the chuck. I've got the smoked glass ready to attach and I went ahead and drilled the holes and countersunk them off camera before I realized that I wanted to record the process. I've got my bit chucked up in the drill. I'm going to go ahead and tap the wood so that I can easily thread the screws in with a screwdriver. I have one issue and that is back in the back here. Uh, my drill is going to bump against the backstop. So what we're probably going to do is we'll drive, we'll drive these two by hand and then I'll drive this one in with a uh, with a drill and a little larger uh, Phillips bit so that I can be above the back and not damage this piece of wood. All that's left is to get our shelf hung on the wall in its new location. 
In preparing to mount this shelf to the wall, I found it would be easier if I removed the smoked glass. I've got a couple more of the three inch screws and I've gone ahead and marked my shelf on 16 inch centers and I verified that that is the distance between uh, the studs in my wall. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill these holes. We'll get them countersunk. We'll take the shelf over to the wall. We'll realign it with the studs and then I'll run the drill down through the drywall into the studs before attaching the screws and the entire shelf to the wall. I'll get a little sandpaper and touch that up to get rid of the uh, fuzzies and we'll be ready to take it to the wall. I've gone ahead and inserted the screw and I've let it protrude through the back which will make it easier for me to find the hole I just drilled. And now we'll go ahead and attach the shelf. I've got a level and we'll put it on here. And well, we're not too bad right there. Raise it up just a hair and I'm ready to drill my second hole. Let me grab the smoked glass, we'll get that installed, and we'll be ready to wire up the turntable. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, I didn't do anything earth shattering. Uh, this was more a function over form project. The thing I like about it is I built it out of things that I already had in the shop. I didn't have to buy anything. I just went through my scrap pile, got some, uh, got some nice maple. I had some uh, smoked glass uh, from, a, from another project that I had. And I just grabbed those things, brought them together and made this shelf. And I love it. I've been listening to records. It's perfect. Uh, there's a ledge on the back. I think you can see that sort of a dark shade right there. That is uh, an album leaning against the wall because it's about an inch and a half thick. So I can set the albums behind the turntable and keep them up out of the way. Like I said, it's nothing fancy. It was more just something for me to uh, make my shop a more pleasant place to work. I really hope you enjoyed it. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.